Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here, and welcome to episode number 19 of this Let's Play Rome Total War as Carthage campaign. Where we left off last time, we are advancing in the northern Italian region. Uh, specifically, we're going after the Julii settlement of Suggesta. We have some assassins working up here in the north, and uh, one down here that's Assassin moving back ready. up north. And we have some... Uh, some progress made over here. Uh, Basilia, well, maybe, I hope not temporary progress, because now we're under siege. But again, this force, these Britain forces are large. They look intimidating because the flag is like almost all the way filled up with color. Um, but they're not really a threat. Like, I look at this force here, and I look at all the cavalry I have here in the settlement, plus the general. Um, and I just know that there's no way that this force will even come close to taking this out. So I'm just not concerned. Um, once we take Suggesta, we will have then completed a connection here around the Northern Mediterranean. We probably should go after, um, what's the one? Is this Corrales? And we are with an army that's gathering here by Carthage. So, yeah, our economy is getting a bit more stable. We are chasing the Britain navies out of the Mediterranean, and soon the Julii will be out of there as well. Um, yeah, honestly, I just... We're a minute and a half in. I kind of just really feel like starting with the siege. Uh, we have um, five rams already. We have Cretan archers. We have onagers. We have elephants. Yeah, I just I want to fight this battle. Let's go. Let's jump right in. I've been waiting to do it since last video, so just I'm so ready. Today All right, start deployment. Um, we might honestly... Well, first of all... Cretans are definitely not going to be taking a random. Uh, we might not even need the rams. Uh, we're going to use our onagers to our advantage here. We'll put them on fire ammo just so it does more damage. You know what? I want to be able to see it. Uh, I don't think we can see it anyway. Um, start the battle. You guys, off fire at will. I want to choose who you're firing at. Start firing at that wall. Cretans. Well, oh, they have uh, onagers. Cretans, we're gonna we're gonna fire at their onagers, please. We need to. Uh, there we go. Cretan archers with the great range. Yeah, we. I don't want to let these guys take as any unnecessary shots at my army. We're just gonna start peppering them with uh, arrow shots here until we knock them out. Yeah, onager shots again. I mean, if you've been watching this uh, episode for a while, you'll know that um, it's an unfortunate reality of this updated game, you know, updated computer and operating system with an old game is that the, um, unfortunately the onager shots and flaming shots just don't, uh, they don't show, they don't register. It's, uh, it's very unfortunate. Yeah, uh, my, yeah, they, they're almost taken out here. I'm surprised this unit hasn't routed yet, to be honest with you. Down to seven. Come on, Cretans. Get them. Yeah, I don't think they have enough men anymore to fire a shot. No, it looks like they do. We need to take, like, one more out here. All right, it looks like we... No, three... I guess it takes three to operate an onager. Um, we just need to take one more out, and I think we're all good. There we go. Alright, we're all good. You guys stop. Oh, and we knock down the wall. Great. Yeah, just go start firing in those Principes, please. Not there in melee mode. We'll use our... Again, we're gonna, we finally have some range, so we're going to use our range to our advantage here. And uh, really soften up their troops in the settlement. Uh, we can also take our, our higher level of uh, Poeni and Sacred Band infantry. And, you know, we'll start the march forward. Onagers, why don't you guys fire at the gatehouse? I don't think we're going to need the rams. You guys march forward. Yeah, Onagers are going to start firing at the gate. This unit of Principe is severely damaged already. Yeah, and this is good because I'm trying to get... I also want to get as much experience as possible on the Cretan archers that I have. So, we're going to let them get as many kills here as they can. Uh, why don't we have one unit... Can anyone fire at the dogs? I would really like to, if possible, take out the war dogs. Looks like it's just this Principe's unit for the time being. It's just getting a hail of arrows on them. Yeah, we'll just finish this unit off. 
you know what, yeah, let's reposition our archers. Like so. And then what we'll do is we will um, and just have them on fire at will. And they can just fire whoever they can hit and whoever they have range on in the city. So go ahead, you guys. Uh, there we go. Alright, gatehouse is opened. You guys move, run to your position. There we go. Now we, yeah, we're getting some good shots in on the dogs. Which is great, because these guys are going to be a pain for my cavalry. Onagers. Why don't you focus on firing at those other war dogs? Yeah, get some shots off on them. Who's firing at these guys? Do they have archers? Oh, it's good. They got to be in range of that tower. All right, get out of there. Don't want to lose any of you unnecessarily. Yeah, Cretans are still just pouring shots in the sea. It's really too bad that I can't do the uh, flaming shot anymore because it was always fun to see the the wall of flames, you know, fly into a settlement. But uh, unfortunately, there's just nothing I can do there. All right. Oh, an onager shot that you could see just hit there I, again. Like. We can't see the shot when it's in the air, but it still has the effect, that's for sure. Uh, and so we're just going to keep letting our Cretans here uh, let's just keep firing and keep doing damage, because we can put it into speed-up mode. Um, just because, again, I just want to get them as much experience as possible. And we'll keep using them until they literally run out of ammunition. I mean, they're doing a heck of a lot of damage. Uh, you know, so absolutely no reason to, uh, to rush them. Or uh, rush into the city. There we go, they're going to open fire again here. Yep. Taking out more and more every time they pass by. And, uh, looks like... Are they all out of ammo? They are. Alright, Cretans. Well done. You can back out of the, uh, the fight. Don't need you anymore. Libyan Spearmen. You guys can be our first push into the settlement. Let's go. And then, uh, yeah, we'll take all these units... Cav, just start moving your way forward, please. Bonagers, are you still firing in right here? Another hit right into that bulk of them would be real nice. You can see the hits that they got there. Nope, looks like, yeah, we got another hit right in here. Well done. Alright, Onagers, I think you've pretty much done your job. We'll let you get one more shot off and we'll stop. The enemy have lost the walls. Send your troops and take the One rest more shot. of the settlement! Alright. We're in the settlement. Monagers. Well done. Let's take a Poeni infantry. Advance in, then. guys start making your way up the path oh there's a there's a unit running by right here oh my god come on get him that's, that's the I was the onager artillery and you guys go charge the rest of those war dogs there let's go take them out you men we're gonna attack those Hastati they should just melt to our poenies Our 20s, let's go just charge in there. Yeah, these men move all the way up. You don't need to run. What, what is the range shot that's hitting these guys? What, why, why is your back facing them? Face forward. <laughs> They're like marching away from the enemy. Come on, guys. Take out the dogs. Cavalry, go finish off that Hastati unit. Dogs are doing an annoyingly large amount of damage. <laughs> I mean, it's not a large amount of damage, but it's, it's large for, you know, what it should be. Which is not a lot of damage whatsoever. Shield Cavalry. Is there a back entrance into the plaza? There is. Alright, shield cav. Let's get you all the way over here, please. Cavalry. 
start moving. Alright, these guys are going to move up to there. Libyan spearmen are almost in position here. And we'll fast forward until our units get into position. Yep, the dogs charged in. That's fine. The Libyans will be able to take them out. How's our cav? Alright, cavalry's almost looped around. Right, let's get you guys in on this path here, please. Oh. What is this? Break in formation? Is it a few dogs? No, no, no. Come on. Formation, please. Are they still fighting? Come on, guys. Alright, there we go. Cavalry's in position. Hawaiians. Rush forward and form phalanx, please. You men, go after those war dog units. Yeah, they're forming up. Slowly. Yeah, okay. It, it, it all glitched out. Cavalry into the city center, please. If they want to put their spears down, that would be lovely. Nope, they're not going to. Of course they're not. Alright, we're going to pick our spears up, because charging into a phalanx with cav never works. But there we go, this should uh, take a bunch of them out real quick. Hawaiian well, infantry really, really messed up there. We're pushing, pushing this Astadi unit back hard with our uh, Libyan spearmen, and this should be it any second now. Yeah, these units are pretty routed out. Enemy general has been killed. Now we will see the measure of these soldiers. Just that war dogs left, I think. Just finish it off. Come on, finish him off. It's one guy. Jesus, come on. There we go. No. No, no these die. Uh, come on. There we go. <laughs> I mean, jeez. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright, so we got Suggesta. Yeah, I mean. Let's just occupy this one, because it starts as a very small settlement. It's only 9,000 population. Yeah, we could should be able to occupy this one no problem. And we're back. I'm telling you, like, sometimes with these videos, I, I won't get a call or anything for like an hour. And then the moment I start up playing and recording, I get a call. And it's, it's so annoying because it just makes the editing a more frustrating process as I have to piece together part one, part two, but whatever. It doesn't matter. We're here. Um, all right. It is what it is. So yeah, we'll take uh, him sold to honest here. And what do we got? A war dog. All right, we could probably take care of this with infantry. Mighty general. Him sold to honest. Mighty general. Let's take our sacred bands. My liege. And a unit of Cretans. I just want to see if I can't get them like a another command rating up. That's why I'm only bringing three units instead of a lot more. For those of you who don't know, and I probably will make a game guide on this eventually. Um. The amount of, like, lopsidedness of the battle affects whether or not a general may gain experience or lose experience in a fight. Or, sorry, not experience is wrong. Um, and it not lose, whether a general will gain um, command stars in a fight, you know, towards their stats or not. So, what do we got? It's just two units of infantry. Principes, Principes, War Dogs. 
we'll group like this, and let's just advance. Ah. Oh. Just move in formation for some reason. It's kind of annoying. Alright, we're gonna get in the Cretan Archer range here. Oh, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. They move forward. Cretans fire at the far ones. We'll just kind of mess around with these guys here. Yeah, take out as many of that far unit as you can. Let's get out of uh, out of the Pila range. There we go. Now turn and charge in. Yeah, I don't want to get into a protracted melee, but we'll use our uh, our charge bonus. There we go. Yeah, they're going to charge straight into the phalanx. That's uh, not advised. Oh shoot, I forgot about that. No, stay on the war dogs, please. Can we get the break on them. Oh, they gotta be close to the end. They're down to 32. All right, get out of there. War dogs are coming. Enemy general should... All right, there we go. We got their general. Now we will see the measure of these soldiers' courage. It's kind of annoying. I wish, like, this is the problem: is that the guys won't target the dogs sometimes. Yeah, like they they just target the they just target the, the men, the trainers, and so the dogs like are really hard to pin down. This is why I just can't wait to not have to fight the uh, Romans anymore because these war dogs are a huge pain. Looks like they're going to get that guy. Yeah, Cretans took out some of these guys routed. We just got to go charge the trainers with our general here. Yeah, if we kill the trainers, we'll get the dogs out. Oh, that guy survived! Good for him. Let's see if they have anyone they can fire at will at. Oh, they do. They're shooting. Who are they shooting at? Oh, no, they're not really. Alright, there we go. General, let's run these guys down. There we go. They're routing. If we can get this unit to route now, we can just also just end this fight. Here we go. We'll continue the fight, and if the dogs come close, then we can just stop and end it before they before they hit us. Uh, let's just go hit the war dog trainers, see if that actually gets rid of the dogs here. I kind of forget if it works like that or not. What? Why did you just turn? No, no, no. War dog trainers. Uh, I have no idea what what they're doing. Okay, there we go. Alright, the dog's routed out. Let's go after these guys. There we go. Finish them off. Cool. Well done. Yep, saw the honest. Did we gain any experience? No, we did not. No worries. Alright, we did get rid of that force, which is good. And then, yeah, Suggesta's probably gonna have to sit on a, on a low tax rate for a bit. Well, I mean, as long as someone's here, they, they won't have to. We can actually up it to a high tax rate for the time being. Let's go ahead and let's retrain the units that we can. Um, and I guess that's actually just retraining them with, uh, yeah, with the blacksmith, because they actually can't recruit those units there. And then we'll repair the buildings that were destroyed. Um, we'll probably want to have somewhat of a defense force that we train up here. So let's get like an Iberian infantry unit in. And why don't we focus on public order off the bat here? And maybe like an execution square, you know, would be a uh, a good building to go ahead and just build off the bat. That would up law by 10% right there. Yeah, we definitely want to invest in Suggesta. Uh, yeah, I like that. Okay. Next, let's Assassin take a look here. Yeah. We have a family member in the open. I got 43% success right there. I actually can't reach any broody eye. 
or I, sorry, any um, Juwei armies with this assassin this turn, so let's just get him up here in the north where we can use him next turn. Uh, we could take out the spy, actually 37% rate, that's very, very low. Um, their faction leader is in the settlement there. Let's, let's give a 43% chance a shot. Oh, we got him. We are just wiping out these uh, Juwei family members, and that means less general bodyguards to... Um, and I think, yeah, sorry guys, it's just constant things popping up. Um, all right, we should probably look at a Riminum here. And, uh, yeah, we got some unrest and stuff. Maybe look at how we can, how many of these guys can we move out of the city? We went to a low tax rate here. Oh, I want to re, I need to retrain these guys. How close is Rome? Oh, Rome is one turn away from finishing the awesome Temple of Baal. So let's take... All these sacred bands. And we gotta get him to Rome. And then let's take our 21-year-old young general. You can get up to a Riminum. Oh, what the heck? Where did you come from, assassin? Assassin. Alright, that we gotta. No more moves, sir. We gotta go after him next turn. So we're gonna trigger that so we can see where he goes. Next turn we can retrain the sacred bands here. Um Otherwise, here, let's maybe do... Yeah, we'll do another long shield cav. We have buildings building here. Yeah, and then we can get a Poeni infantry here. Okay. Good, good, good. Wait, we can retrain them already? We can't recruit them. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, is it... You know what I bet you it is? Yeah, it's got the armor here. So instead of retraining this turn and next turn, we'll just wait and do it next turn as so we can do it all at once. Um, I think that's probably uh, that's probably a good way to do it. Okay, so Suggesta here, high tax rate. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do one turn with that in the city. This, I want to let that siege continue. These guys... Yeah, I mean, we just need to move north. They don't... Britain like, just does not want peace with me, even though I've been, uh, you know, beating them back at, like, literally every turn. And that's a pretty much full force there, so... Yeah, these guys... I guess just hang for a sec. Let's just kind of advance slowly but surely. There's a little little pocket of troops outside the settlement here. I'm surprised they're fighting me. I'm surprised it's only 5 to 2 army strength ratio. I mean, we got like 1,200 to almost three, like 300 men. Right. Yeah, I mean, we got pretty weak infantry. I, I get that, but... We just, okay, they have... That's why. They got the... They got the uh, chariots. Chariots and a lot of cav. They got Libyans themselves. Why don't we take the ones on the left side? Go hit the heavy cav and the light chariots, please. We're gonna kind of just pepper them. Swordsman, swordsman, yeah, let's just try to get some, uh, some range here on these guys, get some spear throws. They should be able to throw the spears while they're running away. There we go, yeah. See if we can't take any out of these barbarian warlords. Alright, let's so use your skirmish mode, use your skirmish mode. There we go. What the heck are these guys doing? Alright, here comes the front line. Oh, the, oh, right, the light chariots are a ranged unit. Oh, and there are cavalry's firing at them. Alright. That makes more sense. Just you guys keep firing at those, uh, the general, please. Front line's engaging. It's fine. Why don't we bring you guys, cavalry, let's get you out. Yeah, my, my men will be able to win that fight on the front. Alright, we're just going to plunge in here. Give it our best shot. 
couple of you guys go hit those. Yeah, chariots can be really, really big pain in the ass. Yeah, we're, but we'll just we'll just stomp them with numbers. There we go. Yeah, we caught the uh, that light cav to British light chariots. Uh, let's just continue it, just to see how many of these guys we can catch and take out. Turns out none. All right, that was a waste of time. Some unit behind me. Oh yeah, we can take these guys out though. Oh yeah, nice and easy. There we go. There we go. All right. Gained one one chevron of experience. Cool. And uh, yeah, we'll go next turn. We'll go put that city under siege. Uh, Lung Dunham over here. God, we got so many generals over here. There's so many units I want to retrain. You know what? I, someone also recommended this, and I agree. Carthage, we were talking about the population situation in Carthage, and my whole thing was once you get over 30,000 population, um, squalor stops, uh, you know, uh, growing. So I was just kind of thinking, oh, I'll just get it to 30,000 pop, and then it'll be stable. But it's actually, population's frozen. But what we'll do is, yeah, we'll recruit up some peasants here. Just get a bunch coming in. As a, yeah, like you guys said, as a uh, force that can um, be transferred population-wise. And I'm going to transfer some population up here to Narva Martius where we need it. Uh, I think that's probably pretty smart. There's the plague still there on the Libium. Yeah, Thapsis on the other hand. Let's get a cavalry unit going. Okay, Thapsis, why don't you... Do the execution square for public order purposes. Yeah, we're going to spend the rest of our money here on economic buildings. Because they are sorely, sorely needed. If I went shipwright here, how much money will that add? Oh, that's a good, that's a good uh, bonus. We'll do three turns with the shipwright. Rome's building. What about Syracuse? Syracuse, we want that royal palace, so we'll save up money for that. Again, Shipwright is usually a pretty good money maker. Uh, yeah, why don't we just do Shipwright here too? It'll make some money for us. And then, um, what about you, Serta? Anything to build here? What will Shipwright do for you? Ooh, huge increase. Yeah, we'll get. So in three turns, we should be making a lot more money from the Shipwrights. That navy is moving. Uh, let's go through the list really quick before we end turn and just make sure we're not forgetting about anyone too important. Uh, nope, nothing there to recruit. Mighty General! Aretia, you're good in Aretium for the time being. Suggest a force. Yeah, Rome's army's large because we're going to retrain it. The Atticles and Marble Martius will move out of there soon. It's good. It's good. Same with Bolt. Yeah, there's a couple generals there. Ah, yeah, okay, we'll do the Ioni. Um, oh my gosh, Adriatic Sea. Mighty um, General. Oh, almost forgot about that. Yeah, we have Cyrene Mighty under General. siege. Ships ready. Mighty General. Adriatic, that force is under siege. There's the last general there. Adriatic, right? Uh, no, um, we have to do the it's basically the Italian navies, essentially. Okay. And then agents. All in position enough. Alright, naval fight's here. Yeah, this fleet's starting to uh, take some hits, but again, we're just going to kind of try to stay on these Julii navies here. Alright. You guys, anyone? I'll stay with the blockade. You guys can go to coordinate with them. Um... I, great lord, prepare to engage! Victory! Go right there. More navies. I want to unblockade my port. Yours, great lord. Get the trade back Ships there. Ready. Can't lose those finances. Oh, that's a little bit lord. much. Out of moves, that tiny sail. navy. Damage navy. Alright. Let's look at Cyrene. I think my it's time navy. to... Do I have the... Uh, Prepare for Try the Rams built? I do. Alright, let's go assault Cyrene. This will await my order. 
Oof. We got one, two, three. Let's go ahead and start. One, two, three. Skirmishers. Let's go. They got our ooh, they got archers. Alright, yeah, we gotta go make sure we take those out. Alright, they're charging forward. Yeah, the cavalry as well. Let's get you guys up there. The rest of the force, why don't you just slowly start walking forward? Take out those archers, please. That's who I want everyone throwing your spears at, over the walls. Get as many of those as possible. So we gotta maintain, gotta get rid of whatever their range advantage here. And yeah, we're loading a lot of spears into them. Get our uh, horsemen throwing spears as well. Yeah, a lot of them are taken out. All right, horsemen. Come over here. And the battling ram are at the wall. Now um, comes the test of their courage. Yeah, reposition. Looks like archers are running back up. We should get some shots in on them here as they run by. Yeah, there we go, Javelin, man. Good job. Let's get him. Oh, yeah. Got some good hits on him. Oh. There we go. All right, first is down. Your soldiers have broken the enemy gate. First gate's down. Let's wait for the other uh, wall segments to crash here as well. There we go. All right, javelin men should all be throwing their spears. Good, they are. They are. That's good. Yeah, these Numidian javelin men here. Let's go take them out. Go, cavalry. Into the city. Yeah, they're going to just create a slog here. And there's their... They got the general's bodyguard. Infantry, advance in, please. The cowardly enemy have lost the wall. And actually, we don't really have any spears left, so you guys can just back out. Yeah, stay after those javelin men. You guys, why don't you get into the city here? You guys get into the city, please. Ah, there we go. All right, they're routing. We'll take out that whole unit. Jeez, yeah. If Desert Infantry is poking this much of a hole in my line here, I think we're going to have some trouble. I was about to say, I'm surprised they're running their ranged, uh, their ranged cavalry in, but it looks like they are. Come on, guys, can you throw your spears, please? I mean, what the heck are they doing? Cavalry, what do we have here in the center? Desert, desert javelin men? All right, we're gonna come around this flank. Run, there we go. General, we need to bring you up. Why don't you go after those javelin men that are gonna hit me from the rear? Sandwich them, take them out. Okay, they don't have too much left outside of their general. Yeah, go after those javelin men in the center city, please. You guys, charge forward. 
General Halt, Halt, whoa, 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 Halt, Halt, Halt. Out of there. You know what, those are just javelin men. Everybody charge forward. Let's go get them. Come on. Yeah, we need to break through here in the center city. Infantry, let's move! Oh my god. Alright, hold up a second. What the heck? Why are none of these men, like, what are they doing? I hate when, like, glitches does this. Generals, everyone hit the ge that general's bodyguard. It's like I need to, like, to manually have them move forward. Alright, you guys, come hit them from the, from the rear. Now that you've taken the city center. We got a sandwich. It's our one chance. Alright, go after the general's bodyguard. My men are routing. Yeah, we gotta sandwich them here. That's our chance. Gotta get their general. Gotta sandwich them. Come on. Good, their numbers are dwindling. Because the thing is, because it's not in the city center, once they route, they're screwed. Because once they route, I'm, I have them sandwiched and they're just gonna you can wipe them out. There we go, the general's routing. Alright, we gotta get them. Knock them out. Come on. There we go! Alright, now we run down the routers and we finish this one off. Jeez, look at the slog right in here. The sandwiching worked, thankfully. Oh my gosh, I thought that was my general or something for a second. They just had two. Woo! Heart dropped right there. All right, we got the city victory. Wow, what a slog that was. <laughs> okay, do they have another unit anywhere? Now they don't. All right. All my cavalry gained experience. Well, except for the range cav, but that's all right. We got Cyrene. Good, good, good. Yeah, we'll just occupy. Pretty low population settlement. Below growth rate. We could, uh... Start land clearance off the bat there. That's fine. My and, um... Yeah, let's stick with the program here. Move out. Oh, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough All money to build anything. Alright, we'll wait till next turn. That's fine. Alright, that was a big... That was needed. That was a big win. Uh, finances should be looking pretty solid. Um, because we've picked up two new settlements. And, yeah, I think we could probably go ahead then and move to the next turn. We got four spots open here, and I got four units. Or why don't you guys start going to link up with the army in that city? And now, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and on to the next turn. Yep. Britannia did not attack. 22-year-old superior commander husband. Absolutely. I will take you. Let's see, where is the marriage? Oh, God. Kaidonia. Ugh. I got two young generals over here, 22 and 17. We gotta start invasion of Greece soon. Sooner. That's why I want peace with Britannia. I just want to be done with that region. But they keep, uh, they keep pushing. Construction report. Tarnsum got those counselor's chambers done. Gotta love that. Although it's still not the biggest fan of me. We'll get the Execution Square going there. Faction announcements. Some retinue expands. Yeah, I made good money. Alright, so just uh, not happy on the high tax rate anymore. It's alright, we'll get the law bonus soon for you. 
Okay. So, how do we want to approach this next turn? First, let's just kind of do some maintenance stuff. Yeah, we're going to want to get these watchtowers here, and we'll kind of just keep our general moving to, to go do that. Um, yeah, we'll get watchtowers along our border. Kaidonia. Anything? Nope. Alright, why don't we actually... This, be, this is kind of a cool one. We'll put a watchtower here, get good visibility over the water. Big fan of the watchtowers, in case you haven't been able to tell. Okay, we got one little fleet here. One little ship. Alright, they went that way. Let's, um... Massilia... Yeah, I mean, they got to attack probably this end's turn. They got, what, six rams now? I, I gotta think that's gonna happen soon. Uh, we could also... Let's go put that under siege. Get some rams going there. Let's retrain as much as we can. <laughs> One unit. Alright, as much as we can, that's fine. And this is a good location, I think, for some paved roads. Additionally, I have the tax rate low for population growth purposes, but honestly, I think money is is going to be more important than tax for me right now. Army here. I mean, I just we probably want to go check out. We'll take as many of these, of these guys as we can. Yeah, they're still okay, and we're training a new one every turn, so that's fine. Let's start sailing north. What's the... Oh, very undefended settlement. Alright. Yes, mighty lord. Out of That's good. Desire. We'll land there next turn. And uh, these sail. fleets. Yes, mighty lord. Prepare to engage. Let's go hit them. The sea is yours, great lord. Yes, mighty lord. Out this of fleet's pretty sail. weak. Ready to sail. I hesitate to attack anything other than like a guaranteed sink. Combat. There we go. Guaranteed sink. We'll take it. Supreme. Then move in the port yes, right there. Lord. Retrain. And we'll recruit in an additional one for you there. Um, Alright. Where did this assassin go? Sire, march. They have an assassin in here and I just keep losing sight of him. 50% rate. 5%. Okay, we'll do that. 11% on that guy. Why don't we just do the 80 88%? Yeah, we work for some trade increase. Assassin. Can you, the better assassin, go try at a 15% clip? It's not good. Is there faction error? No, we missed them. Alright, that's fine. Not the end of the world. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna want... Oh, also, gotta remember, Rome retrain. This is gonna be expensive retraining these guys, but... It's well worth it, and we can bring in another Poeni infantry there. Let's also make sure we take 17-year-old publicly loyal commander. We can start moving with him. He's got 22-year-old superior commander. Yeah, we're probably going to want to get an army moving up north uh, to start off here. But we could probably gather there. And why don't... Yeah, you can go join in that settlement. Let's go ahead and start. Orders. Give him some good cav. Orders. Mighty General. Move out. Yeah, I suggest that. We're just going to swap you to that low tax rate. Um, Because we're going to want to pull some of these units out of the settlement for sure. That's a good amount of cav he's got already. Give a fresh unit as well. Okay, let's take Poenis. Five units of Poenis. We will also give him... Those Libyans. Libyans. Too many. Don't need that many. Yeah, don't need that many. But we will... Yeah, give him the three Cretans and the Onagers. Alright, and they can start advancing. That is a pretty 
good force right there. Um, very happy with that. We'll recruit another Poeni in. We'll recruit another cavalry in. Yeah, we're going to keep the army buildup going on up here in the north. And here in Rome... Execution Square. Public order. Always. Alright. So just, uh... Execution Square is already building Massilia. They're going to attack. Yeah, we've done this region. Pretty much done everything we need to do over here. I, great lord. Yeah, that fleet's pretty solid. Ready. These guys... Ready for just keep... Uh, just Ships barely ready. avoiding me. Super annoying. Um, but we'll keep ready on them. Keep pressing. We've got a little... Rebel Force here, Peltists. Do I have anything here that can address it? Kind of not really. It's okay, there's, it's such a huge... Those regions are so huge in North Africa, there's always going to be Rebels there. Honestly, there's only so much you can do. Alright, we got the... The plague is finally stopped here, so... Why don't we just recruit in one more ship? Syracuse. Ooh, just... Yeah, we don't have enough money for that again. Why don't we... Give you guys the execution square here, and then in a couple turns we'll give you that. And then we're going to do a little bit of naval build up I here. Great Lord. I great Lord. Yes, Why don't you guys go into Lord. Proton Support and uh, we'll retrain you there as well. And that uses up pretty much all of our cash. Um, Rome, Orders? let's take Mighty the Poeni Infantry. Mighty General. Mighty General. Libyans. Orders? Orders? Yeah, Orders? Libyans and Poeni start Forward. moving to north. March. Where we're gonna Forward. need them. Moves depleted, mighty Lord. And do I want to move the Aegis? Rome is Orders. making 492. If I move him out of the city. Move out. It's actually making a little more. Well, it won't be after I have to lower the tax rate. I think. He's been such an outstanding commander for us for so long. Um, he deserves... He's conquered Italy for us, basically. So, you know what? I think his home uh, will be Rome to the end of the game. We will actually bump this up and make as much money as we possibly can. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Alright. Pretty quick hitting moves there. Ships ready! Yeah, Ship make sure that's ready. blockaded. That might be a sink. Two sinkable potential positions there. We, we'll keep ready. track of those, but I think for the for this turn, we're not going to advance on them. Yeah, nothing else I can really do too much over here. We're going to definitely have to ferry a fleet over at some point. Again, I would love I to... I will speak with them you guys want one. peace? <laughs> No, they don't want peace. All right, on to the next one. Sire. Yeah, we're just gonna lay, Hush. keep these guys in waiting. Are they gonna attack me at the city? I'm surprised again that this is actually uh, so negative, four to five to army strength ratio. Because I think this is actually gonna be a pretty easy, straightforward win for me. I'm not uh, particularly worried about it. Start deployment. It's been a while since we've defended. Always fun. Alright. Yeah, you see, this is so vulnerable over here. So I'm going to be able to take out all these units with my cavalry over here before they even get to the wall. So I really only think I need to worry about, like, is this general or archers? General. Okay. Uh, I think I only need to worry about these three rams. So what we'll do is we'll position our skirmishers strategically between where the rams will be hitting on the walls. Like here. So those guys will all be taking, will be firing at the units that come up with the rams. And then we'll fill in the rest with men for defensive purposes. Like so. And then backdrop. And then the general. So all we have left in the city center is the cav. And yeah, I want to... There's no... There, okay, there is a gate over here. I want to exit the city with them over here immediately. Alright, and we're off. 
So yeah, I think we got a defense uh, against those three rams and a very aggressive attack here on these guys with the cav, which we'll let filter out of this gatehouse, which is taking annoyingly long. <laughs> um, all right. Cool, yeah, those units are advancing. It'll take a minute. Come on, guys. All right, we'll just go hit those barbarian mercenaries. They should route stupid quickly. Everybody charge, please. Charge, please. Yeah, they kind of just didn't charge. Alright, I don't want to get into a melee with... Uh... Oh, they routed. Alright, they routed. Run them down. Make sure they don't come back. Yeah, alright, they won't come back. Form a line, please. Alright, first barrack battery rams have just hit the wall. Form a line, and let's charge that warband unit. Get them to route. Now we'll get a nice charge bonus on them. And the immediate route. Perfect. Wipe that unit out. Go hit those mercenaries with the get with the battery ram, please. Yeah. Cavalry swarm, these guys are gonna just break immediately and get wiped out. Oh, we actually did break down that, uh... Yeah, break down that ram there. That's nice. Taking a route. No, not yet. Good for them. Bold. Still not yet. Alright, let's pull back to here. Why are none of these guys firing? Kind of annoying. They should be. It's turning a charge bonus on the chosen swordsman. It's a it's a higher level swordsman unit. Let's see if we can't get them to route with a charge. No. Swordsmen are. I got to admit, a little impressive to me. All right, they broke through. There we go, that one did route. Let's go route out the other one. There we go, yeah, they, that, that's that got to take him out, right? Can't let him get re- can't let him redo the, the ram here. Alright, you know what, if a small unit wants to ram its way in, fine. Let's bring our cavalry this direction. I still have no idea why my skirmishers are not in range. They totally should be. Alright, cavalry against the general. Let's see if we can't take him out. This might be a suicide charge. But if I can take out their gen- oh, come on. Terrible timing. But if I can take out their general, this is gonna be wholly worth it. Yeah, we're, we're taking out a lot of the chariots. I think I got this. There we go, yeah, totally worth it. Alright, go in uh, cavalry now, we can hit these guys at the walls. There we go, skirmishers are finally throwing their spears. Yeah, go hit them over here. They're not going to be able to last much longer. Not with cavalry hitting them from the rear. They're going to rout out. No doubt about it. Alright, we gotta go hit this warband over here that uh, has punched through. And what unit hasn't routed here? The Chosen Swordsman? I'll bring my general in. Let's go, Cav. Oh, the cavalry that was there routed? Are you serious? Wow. Alright, General, back up, please. Okay, whoa, 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 why is everyone routing? 
What the hell? They had like no units left. Why the heck was everyone rounding? Regroup everybody. Jesus. All my all my cavalry. I have absolutely no idea what happens there. The walls are taken! The enemy stands ready to take the town! I I had like their whole army on the run. I killed their general. My like whole and my whole force rally. Because of a unit of warband and swordsmen? Are you kidding me? Come on, skirmishers here, come on. There we go, get your spear throws. Iberians, get back. You guys, get back. Pathetic. Yeah, there we go. See how they route? Can you stand your ground? Ain't that complicated, guys. Stand your ground. As enemies, these men are perfect. All right. They are running from the battle in terror. <laughs> we will end that one. Uh, no, we'll continue this one. The the opportunity to chase down routers is too high. General, let's go. Two two, two cavalry left. That's kind of fun. General, go chase him down. And yeah, we'll go to fast forward for this. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of kills here with the general on these routers. Absolutely. Take those guys out. Come take these guys out. And go take them out. Alright, yeah. One last guy. And we're done. Alright. Tough, tough uh, defense, but again good uh, a win. You know, a win's a win, right? Uh, 43, good stats. Plus two to general's hit points. Uh, it's just, it's just older. No. Enemy army routes. May have lost a little bit of money from last turn. That's okay. We did recruit in some tr good amount of troops. Carthage got the royal palace. All right. We can do stuff like the Royal Cavalry stale Stables, and yeah, <laughs> we got the top level stuff there now. Faction announcements, retinue expands, retinue expands. All right, I want to thank you, everybody. I think that's where we'll stop this one. Uh, a couple nice fights, good progress, good city defense, gained two settlements. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed and you made it all the way through, you know, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. And. Um, yeah, as always, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next episode. Have a good one.